You can't deny this color is unique. This is one that went through a lot of debate. It is a Prius color. The irony there, I Prius, know, right? it's like the most hated vehicle out there. Prius but color. it's a little different too. Yeah. Hey folks, welcome back to their vlog. Ryan Wilson here from Predator Inc. And Paul Sanderson. Doing this vlog together because this is truly like yeah. one of my favorite trucks we've ever built. So you get both of us today. It is a 2000 H1 Hummer, one of the most detail oriented builds we've ever done. Paul spent a tremendous amount of time, emails, text messages, phone calls with the owner of this truck to get it perfect. It's hands down probably one of my favorite trucks I've ever seen. There's nothing that's over the top on the truck except for the details. So a little background on the customer. He is an acclaimed artist out of LA. California Locos is a company that he founded years ago and he takes a slice from my history too, he's an old skateboarder coming into some surfing, snowboarding guy. But beyond that, he's a true artist at heart. The details that he wanted, the caliber build that he required brought out this project here, which I feel, again, you mentioned it, top five on my book. Something that AM Gen would be proud of if they could slow down the production and do one at a time like we do, this would be the truck. It really does hit the mark on so many different levels. Mm -hmm. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. So starting out on the truck, first and foremost, uh, Duramax diesel conversion, Allison six-speed transmission. There's uh, one big putt to that Duramax conversion, which lies inside of here. Yep. This tag right there. California compliancy. Working communication with California, the toughest state in the nation on their emissions regulations. This went through arduous testing, proofed by the dealership, going to the referee, I personally took it down there and worked with those guys, passed their inspection with flying colors. This is now a 50 state compliant truck. Yep, if the customer did decide to sell it and may end up coming back here, it has that value there. And there's more states coming online, such as Colorado and a number of other ones that are tightening up the reins on the smog certs on these oh. trucks. Simply scan it and they know exactly what to test for. And then it goes through the smog process. It's all certified and it's legal. So that's huge in itself yeah. right there. You guys might flash back to an episode months past of the Japanese truck. And that was one that he wanted us to hold to the same tolerances of our California trucks because that same reason, because it's worldwide recognized that California is so tight on their emissions restrictions. You can't deny this color is unique. This is one that went through a lot of debate. It is a Prius color. The irony there, know, Prius, right? it's like the most hated vehicle out there. Prius but color. it's a little different too. Yeah. To get away from the Prius a little bit, going off on that base coat, we did a matte clear, has kind of a frosted finish to it. I think is just phenomenal on that side. Accenting it with all the black accessories throughout from our powder coat package on the hinges and handles, taking the stainless steel button heads that are throughout the whole truck and giving them that black oxide treatment. I think it worked out great. Yeah, it's amazing, yeah. it's incredible. The more black you put on these trucks with these strong colors, the copper truck, this one now, uh, I think it just sets it off. When I'm choosing a paint color, oftentimes I'll pick out a color, I'm like, okay, this is it. Get the paint shot on the vehicle, and then I regret it. I'm like, oh my gosh, I failed. This thing looks horrible. Yep. And then the accessories go on and all of a sudden yep. it starts to come together and you're like, okay, this is what I was envisioning. And, yep. and this thing turned out just insane. Black anodized Predator badging down here gives you kind of an anti-slip uh, textured finish yep. on the uh, rocker panel protection. It's just overall, just such a clean truck. If a H1 Hummer could be subtle, yep. yeah, I it. would say this is yep. it. Uh, so let's take a look at the front. Now that we're up front, we get a chance to see some of those details that the customer insisted on. The bowl bar was added to our Viper bumper with the integrated winch, forged shackles, and those flush mount lights that we did. Is this a bowl bar or is that a brush guard? Thing? I was calling it a Baja bar first because we did the Baja. Isn't no, that considered a push bar? The voice yeah, you hear I from guess. nowhere is, is push bar. Scroll down, give us a comment. What would you call this thing? I love our D-ring brush guard, but this really lets that color shine. The iconic look that we are all grown to love. Incidentally, Jeep sued AM General years ago stating that was their patented trademark or trademark infringement and AM General was copying it. AM General manufactured the male Jeep they actually manufactured it with those slots. It was eventually thrown out of court yeah. and uh, AM General continued to, to sell this. The other thing too is I love this color because it really shows off all the accent and all the lines on the hood, 
on yeah. the truck. Everything has such sharp edges on it. Sometimes you get into like black truck. The details are lost. As you see, didn't do a snorkel. Again, keeping it rather tame but we did get that front light bar on there. Also gives you a lot of protection too, off-roading. Yeah. I've had a lot of tree limbs come in here before I had the light bar on my truck yeah. and cracked windshield. So with this on here, it's taken the abuse as opposed to the windshield, kind of breaks that impact initially. Yeah, that's uh, it. Then full LED light packages all the all way around. around. Yeah. LED headlights, uh, turn lights, uh, side marker lights. Even though we have the heavy duty cooling package in there, keeping that Duramax as happy as can be and that Allison with that remote cooler, the hood scoop's a good fit. I think it aids in that cooling, assists that cooling system to work that better, and it just looks over the top. It's modeled and was designed after the hood itself here. We put these lines in here for two purposes. One is to give it rigidity up here. You have this little pronounced piece that comes up here, yeah. the center. That gives you a lot of support in the design there, but it also gives you a very similar look right here with this brake on the hood. Uh, so everything's done with uh, form and function. Hats off to the guy who designed it. <laughs> well, not nice work. Nice Thanks. work. Only thing that we didn't touch are the rims. And I wish we did our rims on there, but we didn't. Customer really liked the clean look. Yep. Um, it looks good with the truck overall, just being very kind of clean lines on everything, especially with the Toyo Open Country Mud Terrain tires. Exactly. It gives it a really aggressive look on that cleaner line rim. I think 80, 90% of our trucks on the lot have those Toyos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. great it's tires. Good, great, good tire yeah. for sure. So go to the back now. Yeah, let's walk around the back. The biggest thing you're going to notice is our winch bumper back here. This thing's just a beast. We have uh, integrated LED lights right here that we have set up as backup reverse lights. You can also toggle them on as floodlights if you want to. The advantage with them too is we're running ridges. They put out a tremendous amount of light, but the angle on here is such that it's not going to be blinding to people. It's going to throw a tremendous amount of low light and it's going to go out pretty far. So huge advantage with having them at this angle here. And of course the Warren winch in the back of our winch bumper system. So yeah, this is actually a hybrid. This is our search and rescue with the lights in, integrated in it. Mm -hmm. We have the Viper. So this makes that a 12K winch. The Viper has got the bigger belly there for the 16.5. For you guys that want to get a bit bigger winch, a bit bigger pull capacity out the back there. Yeah. Um, both and phenomenal, same profile. You know, we topped off this Prius color with that matte clear with a bed coat in the rear. I love the detail work the guys did around the edges here, the way it fits. Our bedroll cover also is utilitarian. We were talking off camera about how functional these things are and how it secures your gear. It's all weather too. This customer is going to take this in the snow. You can get up here and walk around up here. This thing is rated for like 250, 300 pounds. I forgot what the number was. I mean, That's, you and I can have a dance party up here if we I wanted to. I can't quite get up there, but you could get up yeah. there. 250 pounds is a little <laughs> but, underrated. Uh, we went ahead and picked up where AM General left off and truly sealed the bed here. So this is now a dry containment in the back, which mm -hmm. I think is, is key. Design, function, make it practical. That's what this truck is really epitome of. Yeah, and he does a lot of snowboarding. He has a house up in the mountains, so he's gonna be using it up there. Um, it's definitely gonna be used. It's not gonna be a street queen. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's definitely uh, very well suited for the mountains and snow, wet condition. We did go ahead and replace the top. Now we've got a complete, realistically ground up new truck. Mm -hmm. Through our Duramax conversion process, you're getting that frame painted. You know, now we have all the treatments to the actual body. So now you put those two together when done, you've got a bumper to bumper fresh build. Yeah, yeah. So, so let's take them inside. The inside is insane as well. Yeah. First and foremost, check this thing out. Brand new door handles, interior door handles, all billet aluminum, brush finish, and then we black anodize it, and then we top it with leather. So like a foam pad as well as leather on here. This super high quality fit and finish. It's something that the Hummer deserves and didn't have with the original door handles. Yeah. And what were they out of? Like a, um, I think it was Dodge like a van or something. Dodge van or something. Yeah. They, they get stretched out, they bend, they warp in the sun. There's none existent in the rear. This yeah. is just a huge upgrade. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They actually start to crack here at the mounts, and then the door handles will start to fall off. Yeah. So these are billet aluminum. They're never going to fail. I mean, there's nothing you could do that would make this thing fail. Yeah. And then we backed it up with rear door handles, too, like Paul said. Rear door handles also act as an armrest, which it didn't have over here, and uh, replace that factory strap. This so, is the first truck we put it on, I think. It is. Yeah, it's yeah, nice yeah. that we ended up adding this treatment to already a one-off door treatment you know we did this same diamond to the this runners i guess you want to call it same sort of look on the seats and we'll get to that soon but yeah talk about putting the cherry on top of this door mm -hmm. treatment all right now we're in the inside i'm happy to show you guys all the details that we did on this interior i, I love the way it works out i think you and i have both spoken about the black treatment throughout 
Nice and you really, look. you really can't go wrong with all black. Black on black inside a truck. Coming into the seats, you can see all the custom stitch work that goes through these seats. His custom logos on all the headrests. And that really shows off that attention to detail and really looks good. So as long, it, when you start looking around here, you just like keep on looking at all the detail work that's, that's throughout this truck. We accented the leather treatment with a gauge upgrade from Autometer. We have the Banks eye gauge in there to monitor the onboard uh, systems there. It has the EGT, the boost, and the trans temp, so it supplements the original factory gauges. You know, retaining the dash, we have our billet dash grommets up here. So that's another, again, another feature. Just notice that again oh, as yeah. you're looking and, around. And those things are only a couple hundred bucks, yeah. and you replace all of your factory ones that are cracked out and falling apart Guaranteed. with some yeah. high quality billet aluminum. Um, just again, it's the fit and finish, even on you know virtually any H1 Hummer, I can guarantee you those We're dash good. grommets are failing, yeah. a couple hundred bucks, they're all replaced, it, just, it looks really, really good. Yeah, that's it. We, we have the Momo steering wheel, as we've done on a lot of our builds, and that gets away from the factory steering wheel, which is very lackluster. Mm -hmm. and that was one of the first things I changed out in the Humvee, so it that, feels like you have that control. Jared went in and hand-picked the stereo. I think he did a bang-up job. We have 8-inch subs, real small sub, but it has a good punch to it. The amps were selected, uh, again, by Jared. I think he did a bang-up job. The stereo on this thing sounds great. It's quite a bit different from you and I. When we grew up, we'd want to have like 12s or, yeah. or even bigger the in our car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And a big speaker and box. It didn't have quality. Yeah. But nowadays, you can run like 8s or even 10s on the, uh, the very high-end size yeah. range and get a tremendous amount of, of sound out of it and real high-quality sound, too. So with 8s in this truck, it just sounds amazing. Yeah. So underneath the hood, we've got an LBZ Duramax diesel engine conversion. So we swapped out the original 6.5 turbo diesel. It's got all of the features that you'd want out of a heavy duty engine that's fully built up. Uh, now that's not to say that the Duramax diesel engine isn't a phenomenal engine to start with, but there are aspects that we can increase the drivability of the truck, the longevity of it, right. and the overall strength with the head studs and main studs from ARP, as well as the stage four transmission upgrade, and then our heavy duty cooling package. You literally have a uh, uh, radiator, an intercooler, and the AC condenser up there. Everything else is stripped down, and then we have additional coolers underneath the truck. So that really thins it out and makes that uh, the airflow going through there a lot more effective. Yeah, then we and threw not, a fan on top, yeah. and then we shrouded the whole intake with a shroud that seals it off so all the air going in doesn't blow by through the side. Yeah, so yeah, that's it. really makes a big difference out of the truck, yeah. the drivability. And best of all, it's all carb certified through California, yeah. gone through the whole process. So that gives a tremendous amount of value to this truck because it is 110% legal. Yeah. So that carries its weight in gold right there. Appreciate you watching as always. Uh, we definitely um, want to share this truck. We've been working on this for quite some time and it is absolutely an amazing truck and, and probably hands down right now, my favorite truck we've ever built. Yeah. Love the color, the lines on it, just over the top interior and detail work, just phenomenal. So uh, great work, Paul, on putting this thing together yeah. with the customer. Yeah, the, and The team nailed it. And the team yeah, just did an awesome job, just yeah, uh, sure. phenomenal. Yeah, yeah, good deal. Stay tuned for more episodes. We've got some coming up. We've actually got that Cummins build that will yeah. be wrapping up soon. So that one's going to be another stellar build with a custom interior. We touched on it a while ago. But uh, again, stay tuned. Hit the notification and subscription button. See you guys soon.